Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to your English class. This is your almost, almost your last class of bringing to your meeting three. You're all Good evening, everyone. Good evening. You're almost going to be in intermediate. Wow, you have congratulations. Okay, so let's start. Today is Monday, July 17th, 2023. I'm going to share the class presentation with you in a moment. You will be able to see it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have today a review of the future tense review of the future. I think this is going to be a very interesting class for you. Okay, so in a moment you will be able to see the class presentation. Okay, so you're going to have a review of the future. In this session, you will be able to demonstrate your knowledge of English talking about the future, okay? So first, we're gonna have a recalling previous knowledge, then activity two, let's review the future. Activity three, practice in reading. We're gonna have some reading practice and then the wrap up. Okay, so we're going to start with a review of previous knowledge. I need you to write as many words in English in one minute as you can. Bye, give me a moment. I need my cell phone to set the stopwatch. Give me a moment. Okay, so as you are you ready? Do you have your pencil and notebook? Do you need to have a pen or pencil and your notebook right now? <clears throat> okay. Ready? As I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a nice pen. You are going to have one minute. One minute to write as many words in English as you can in the time it starts now. Okay, start now, please. Writing as many words in English as you can remember. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, time is over. Time is over. Now, guys, please count all the all the words, all the words that you could write. Now, let's count the words. One, two, three, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. How many words could you write? Huh? How many words could you write? ¿Cuántas pudieron escribir? How many words could you write in one minute? Patty, Patricia, how many words could you write in one minute? Voy entrando, teacher. <laughs> okay. Geraldine? Good evening. Sí, teacher. 
Can you repeat, please? 15. 15, okay. Mm -hmm. Milagro? Milagro, how many words could you write? Oh, I think he got frozen. She got frozen. Uh, or Maria Jose, Lorena, Sandra. How many words could you write in one minute? Teacher, disculpe, dijo cualquier palabra, ¿verdad? Yes, any word. Yes, Nelson, how many words could you write? Ok, entonces yo logré escribir... Bueno, yo no, no lo fueron tanto, sino que usé como, digamos, eh, como sustantivos contables, porque es lo que, estaba, es lo que estuve ensayándome, entonces... Uh, logré anotar seis, cinco, cinco, cinco you... porque son otras que me acuerdo. Ok, Nelson, can you share your words? Ok, de esos antiguos contables, los que apunté fueron Apple, Magazine, Flowers, Student, Choy, y... No sé cómo se pronuncia. Idea. 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 idea algo así. Idea. 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 Yes. idea. Okay. Uh -huh. Eso es dicho, mamá. Gracias. Ok, very good. Ok. Uh, Nelson, ¿any other person? Oh, Milagro wrote them in the chat. All the words. I think they were like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. Very good. So this exercise is for you to to review the vocabulary you have to see how much vocabulary you can remember. Okay, Sandra? Sandra wrote book, pencil, more, words, word, people, child, brother, sister, day, year, month, word, and hat. Andrea has word, word, tablet, apple, like, love, one, why, where, father, and mother. Good, you included some verb. Okay. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Uh, we have another message. Alejandro Vaquerano, work, job, tomorrow, day, Wednesday, Friday, Japanese, where was, would, like, happy, you, love, and brother. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, now, guys, we're going to start the class, as I said, reviewing the future. I think this is an important topic that you need to reinforce. So when we know about the future, we norm we can use or we normally use the present tense. Remember that we studied that we can use the present tense, the present continuous, will be going to for the future. So in, right now we are going to review this, right? We can use the Simple present for something already scheduled. It means that it has been programmed. It has a time and a day. So you use the simple present for something that has a time and a day. For example, we have a lesson next Monday. The train arrives at 6.30 in the morning. The holidays start next week. It's my birthday tomorrow. So it's, is this about the present or about the future? The meaning, the meaning, el significado, the meaning is about the present or about the future actions? Future. Okay, future actions, exactly. And we know because it says, for example, next Monday, 6.30 in the morning, Next week, tomorrow. Those are future time expressions. 
And we can use the simple present or present simple for something that has a day and a time. Okay? Can we make some examples? Can you tell me some other examples uh, in which we can use the present simple for the future? You can type the examples or you can open your microphone and say it. I will I will give you one minute. Okay. It's about examples. For... I call on the teacher. Excuse me? I volunteer for the sample. Okay, okay, yes, we listen to you. Okay. My example is I going I going to to work to work in Seria to work in. I going to work in right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nelly. Se puede así, teacher. But you are using you are using the present continuous, and we are going to study the present continuous in a moment. But right now is the present simple. What is the structure for present simple? Subject plus the verb plus the complement. That's it. For the example. Okay. For example, the module finishes, because module is third person singular, por eso le agrego ES, I add ES, the verb, finish, finish. The module finishes tomorrow, right? We, we, have, we will we right. have the last class tomorrow. We finish the module tomorrow. The module finishes Tomorrow, okay? It's the future, but we're using the, the simple present. Subject, verb, and complement. We have some examples here. Alejandro wrote the next class is on Friday without it. Alejandro. Milagro wrote the bus stops at 8 a.m. in the morning, okay? My holidays finish to tomorrow morning. I'm sorry for you, Milan. <laughs> okay, great. 